To present the first of this evening's Windsor McKay Awards, please welcome writer, animator, and creator of Adventure Time, Pendleton Ward. <laughs> I'm here to present this first Windsor McKay Award to James Baxter. James, wait, wait, wait. James, I'm going to talk to you while you're off stage, right? All right. James, you're a great animator, man. From the Lion King to Spirit. Everything you've done, animation students pour over your work, and they look like this while they're doing it. That's them going frame by frame. That's a cool thing. Your work literally makes jaws drop all the time. Not just students' jaws, but everyone's jaws. Because of your ability to capture subtle depth in expression, honest, telling eyes, your comedic timing and your gracefulness, hair, hypnotizing everyone with your beautiful, beautiful flowing, rippling hair, and dresses with a thousand folds, and you make it seem so effortless. You're great, man. Let's all watch some beautiful animation by James Baxter. <laughs> Come on, will you cut it out? Can't cut it out. It'll go right back. <laughs> Creepy little monkey. Will you stop following me? <laughs> who are you? The question is, who are you? Masterful What's artistry you know, in the field of animation, I am Baxter. proud to present. He just travels around what? on his beach ball, making people happy. James Baxter. Cool. For a lifetime of masterful artistry in the field of animation, I am proud to present the CIFA Hollywood's Windsor McKay Award to James Baxter. Thanks, Penn, for that uh, fantastic introduction. I love you too, man. You're brilliant. Um, I also thank you to Asifa for this fantastic honor. Um, I just want to say how grateful I feel to have found something to do that I really, really love and really makes me happy. Um, I'm so lucky uh, to have worked with so many great artists and, and uh, to have worked on so many, so many great movies. Um, I'm also so incredibly fortunate to have had a family that, that supported me and uh, let me paint on the ceiling and the walls when I was 10 years old and, and not freak out when I wanted to do cartoons and not a proper job. <laughs> and, and, um, but mostly I feel lucky um, because uh, I met Kendra, who's uh, not only the love of my life, but also the greatest assistant animator. So that's pretty lucky. Um, I love animating. There's really nothing I would rather do. And, um, you know, when I was young and I, I would sit down to an animation desk and, and uh, I would feel excited and eager. Uh, and I still feel that, but, but now, after like 30 years, when I sit down to animate, I just feel this huge stress relief go away. And I think it's because I, I feel like that's where I belong. 
Uh, so I feel very grateful for that. Thank you very much.